All right, would you please introduce yourself and uh, explain uh, what's happening at the legislature right now? Right, so my name is Josh Campbell, uh, and I'm the president of Voskana Solar Co-op. And we just were here at the uh, climate strike uh, here on Friday, September 27th. And uh, the reason that I'm here on, is I'm here on behalf of the uh, Solar Co-op. There's 103 members, and we are uh, definitely concerned about uh, well the environment and ways that we can contribute to helping the environment. Um, so we would be here anyways, but we're here uh, uh, also uh, because of the net metering program that has been suspended by SAS Power. And that's a huge way that our memberships have been able to take advantage of going solar. And so we just feel that this is uh, uh, this decision was very irresponsible on the behalf of the government, and uh, has ended up, you know, uh, throwing the whole solar industry into uh, disarray. And, if, and they made a recent announcement that it's going to be a couple weeks before they. Um, they reinstate the program, which would be excellent. Um, but at the same time, that's uh, that's that's not good enough. Like, why was this program even suspended? So mm -hmm. we have an advocacy role as a co-op, and we were trying to uh, speak on behalf of the solar industry and people who are wanting to go solar in the province. Yeah, about uh, ten years ago, I helped set up Regina Carshare Cooperative. So I'm also a president of a co-op in Saskatchewan, yeah. and. Uh, we were worried, of course, at the time whether SGI would permit car sharing in Saskatchewan. And SGI is a crown corporation, SAS Power is a crown corporation. Um, it's, I think it's a, a pattern of uh, um, a disheartening behavior from the government, maybe, in regards to co-ops. And like they've basically uh, said you can't operate right now, right? Yeah. By matter of uh, letting their crown set, set policy. Yeah. And that's upsetting, and I think co-ops uh, play a huge role in, uh, and they have such good roots and foundations in our province, and uh, and it, and especially as we consider alternative models to capitalism, and, and and not just replacing capitalism, but just you know encouraging, um, I guess, de democratizing the economy and encouraging uh, shared ownership and. and I guess being truly capitalist and making more people, uh, you know, owners of capital rather than just a few. Um, this is what co-ops do. Um, this is why I love being a part of, of a co-op, is, uh, is because of that democratic um, piece to it and how, you know, I feel like we're, we're, uh, we're obviously trying to make a profit for our, for our, just so we can return it to our membership and, and uh, there's, there's no one really otherwise profiting off of this model but it, it, that's why our, our, I think our goal is more pure in, in seeing the industry survive, um, not so we can greedily get, make money but just because we want to see people have the opportunity to go solar and, 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 and I think that's, you know, um, and it's ironic you have a, a you know a government that is you know maybe not friendly to co-ops but definitely friendly to they say they're friendly to business and uh, and yet there's a business that's thriving and they're shutting it you know they, they effectively shut it down does the uh, the solar co-op uh, own any solar panels directly no we don't own panels that's a, a model we've talked about but for now, we just deal with the installers, and, and uh, we, uh, I guess you could say, well, um, I guess that's not true. In our group buy, we don't own the panels, but we have another program, uh, our solar investment uh, opportunity, whereby we do actually own panels on, on uh, top of, you know, uh, partners' buildings, and uh, so there's an agreement there where we're getting a certain amount of money from them um, so our members are going to return their investment so yeah okay I'm saying we are we do own those well panels. that other aspect of it yeah. yeah 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 so um so yeah that and we've already done a project our first project in that way how many kilowatts is that system um 
shoot, I think you got me there. <laughs> it's uh, more than, is it more than uh, 10 kilowatts, let's say, to be fair? Definitely. Okay, definitely, definitely bigger. Yes, so yes. You, you probably own more solar panels than SAS Power does then right now. It's 115 panels. It's the largest uh, solar installation in, it's the largest solar installation in Regina right now. Then you definitely own more solar panels than the power utility does. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. <laughs> So why is uh, SAS Power trying to prevent more people from putting up solar panels while they don't have any solar panels of their own? Um, I think there's, I don't know, that's, their, their line is that um, they had a cap and they reached that cap too quickly. The industry was doing so good and so... Um, You'd have to talk to them more about that because um, I don't want to misrepresent their their side of things. Okay. But that's that that was the basics of it, and that there was, you know, they were concerned whether this was uh, this was costing them money or making them money because of the rebate and other programs in place. So I think that was part of their concern. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Thanks very much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>